I'm Dr. Janelle DeGrushi and I'm Director of Public Health for Thameside. Thameside still has a high rate of COVID infection, unfortunately. It's still over 100 per 100,000 and our rates are no longer coming down. This means that we are in a really quite fragile situation. We don't want to see our rates starting to go up again. So I don't think we're out of the woods yet. I know we've all been looking forward to hard earned relaxing of the rules, which will enable us to meet our loved ones outdoors and take part in certain outdoor sports. But with those COVID rates remaining high in Thameside, I do think it's vital that we follow the roadmap with its cautious lifting of restrictions. Otherwise, there's a very real danger that our high rates will actually start to go up and that as the rest of the country enjoy an even greater relaxing of the rules, Thameside will face local restrictions. Please, be sensible and cautious. When visiting our beauty spots and parks, don't gather in crowds or go at busy times. And while I know people you know, do like to get together at Easter, let's make sure we follow the rule of six outdoors, stay socially distanced from other groups, and don't mix with people who live in other houses indoors. So please only meet in small groups up to six people and only mix with people from one other household at a time and do so in the garden or outdoors. Other things that have reopened are outdoor sports facilities such as tennis and basketball courts and open air swimming pools and people can now start to take part in formally organised outdoor sports. But we do have compliance officers out over the bank holiday weekend and they'll be carrying out spot checks and working with our businesses, preparing for hopefully reopening on the 12th of April. Now, while the stay at home rule has ended, people should continue to work from home where they can and minimise the number of journeys you make. So making sure that we limit our contact with others and when we do meet with others, make it outdoors. Please also just keep up with the hand washing and wearing of face coverings. All of this is still the best way to reduce the very real risk still of catching and spreading COVID. Now, unfortunately, there will be some of you who will still get COVID despite all our efforts. If you do have symptoms such as fever, new continuous cough or loss or change of taste or smell, please do get yourself tested. You can visit our website www.tameside.gov.uk forward slash coronavirus forward slash testing for information. If you don't have symptoms but are a frontline worker or you can't work from home, or if you're in a household or social bubble with a child attending school or a member of teaching staff, we really encourage you to undergo regular lateral flow testing. Information on that is available at www.tameside.gov.uk forward slash rapid testing. If you do get a positive lateral flow test result, you do now need to have a PCR test done to confirm that. And I do encourage parents, please remember to keep reporting those lateral flow test results, even if they're negative. That information really does help us understand where we are with COVID. Now, our COVID vaccination drive has been a really huge success. And we've now vaccinated over 100,000 Tameside residents. But there are still vulnerable people who have not been vaccinated and the risk of serious illness or death does remain. Anyone who is eligible for a vaccine, so that's anyone over 50 or those who are in the defined clinically extremely vulnerable group, we encourage you to book an appointment at one of our vaccination hubs 
by contacting your GP practice. Or you can also travel to the mass vaccination center at the Etihad. And you can book for this via the national booking system. That's at www.nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus hyphen vaccination. Or you can just call 119. I want to thank everyone for your incredible efforts and sacrifices. With this, we can slowly begin getting back to what we love, but we must continue to do all we can to keep ourselves and others safe along this journey.